And I have decided that my Christmas present this year is my next guest. Uh, he's just special. In 1943, Ronnie Millsap was born blind due to a congenital disorder. Now, his family feared that Ronnie's lack of sight was God's retribution for sin. <laughs> Hoping for a better fate, they gave him over to the North Carolina State School for the Blind. But it was there Ronnie's hyper-attuned hearing led him to the discovery of his God-given talent, which was music. His personal story is one of the most moving and spellbinding stories I have ever encountered. In a career that has spanned more than 50 years, Ronnie Millsap has charted, think about this, over 40 number one hit songs. He has won six Grammys. He's been inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Ronnie's life story is a journey through the dark unknowns with God and the talents that he gave him as he guides. It is my great honor to welcome to our show the legendary Ronnie Millsap. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Ronnie. It's an honor to be on with you. Well, I love your music, but I just love you. I love your story. There's a great part of your biography that I've read when Ray Charles told you, he said, son, I can hear the music inside of you. Was Ray Charles a big influence on a you? big influence on me. We wrote braille letters to each other. Did you really? <laughs> uh, crazy, but we're both really into braille literacy, keeping that alive. Well, you know, it's, it's so valuable to know that God gave you this gift and you have shared it with the world. You once played piano as a session player for an up-and-coming guy. His name was Elvis. I sure did. Now, is it true that he turned to you during the session and said, more thunder on the keys, Millsap? That's what he said, more thunder on the piano, <laughs> Millsap. What did he mean by that? He just wanted you to bang it harder? Yeah, he was recording this song called Kentucky Rain. Mm. He wanted a little bit more thunder on the piano. <laughs> and I gave it to him. I bet you did. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I never knew. I've never heard that song a thousand times. I never knew that you were the one playing the piano on it. I sure was. I was a big fan of Elvis. Sure. I grew up in the 50s, so big into Elvis and Frank Sinatra, a lot of singers. Glenn Campbell, Mac Davis. Hmm. I mean, you, you've talked about some of the people that influence you, but I, Ronnie, I don't think you understand how many amazing singers and musicians that you have influenced. I just don't think you fully appreciate how many people are where they are today in music because of you. I don't really know. I really don't. But uh, I appreciate it when people say things like that. But Ray Charles was a big influence on me. In fact, I had this record out, an R&B record. I hadn't found my way to Nashville and country music yet. I had this record out called Never Had It So Good, which was an R&B top five record on hmm. Billboard. <laughs> and he said, Ronnie, I like that B-side called Let's Go Get Stoned. <laughs> Matter of fact, I love that so much, I think I'm going to cut that myself. And he, he did. But he was a dear friend, got to be around him a lot. Well, I want to talk about some of the music you've got out. One in particular, some Christmas music. Um, you've got an album that is going to be coming out in January called A Better Word for Love. What can we expect on that album? That is a great new album. I'm happy to do it. And I'm with a different record company. We'll see how they do. Black River Entertainment. They seem real excited about it. I love those folks. They're doing real good for me. Well, I Brand can't wait to get it. Brand new songs on there. We're all going to want that. I mean... I don't know of anybody that isn't a Ronnie Millsap fan, and that means all of us are going to have to buy the album because we want the music of Ronnie Millsap. You've got some Christmas stuff, and you're going to do one for us here on the show. Tell us about the song Merry, Merry Christmas, Baby. Well, it's kind of a, uh, what is it? 
<laughs> you tell me. It's an ace in the hole, I think. <laughs> I, cut, I cut a song back in 1986 called Happy, Happy Birthday, Baby. Yeah. And Rick, these same folks wrote this song, Merry, Merry Christmas, Baby. So it's on the same melody. But I wanted to put it out. I cut it in my home studio and turned it into Black River, and it's out there. Well, it's a great song, and this studio audience is going to get to see it in person, and all of our television audience are going to get to see it right here on the show, because I want to thank Ronnie Millsap for joining us. And if you want more of Ronnie's music, including the latest hit, Merry Merry Christmas Baby, and his January release of A Better Word for Love, get it at RonnieMillsap.com.